Hello and welcome back and today I want to carry on talking about Acer Store now. It's a little update that's came out very recently from them and of course updates to network attached storage firmware it isn't exactly a new thing. In fact even when I'm talking about this I've noticed at the top right of my screen that Chrome has an update. Most software does get updated and often a lot of this is security, a lot of it is patches and all too often they bring new features into the fold with a new um, version and I'm pleased to say this new little extra in the new update from Acer Store for ADM allows you to utilize NVMEs inside for raw storage. Up until this update Acer Store along with a number of other brands other than one were forcing users to, if you do install M2 NVMe SSDs, only allow you to use them for caching. That is, to enable them to uh, bestow their high read write speed and improved IOPS to benefit the larger, slower, but more affordable hard drive array. And in this new firmware update from Acer Store, currently at time of recording 3.5.2 RAG2, this update allows you to use those NVMEs for raw storage. And what we're going to go through today is to show you how to do it and also how to reverse SSDs that are being used for caching and to turn them into raw storage. Today's video is being conducted on a Locker Store 4 that I've populated with hard drives and two NVMEs that I've yet to initialize. It's also worth highlighting that this is being recorded during the second period of lockdown over here in the UK. And the result is that I'm, I'm recording in a slightly different environment and it's quite closed in right now. So I apologize if you can hear the sound of the laptop fan there in the background being caught up. But let's go into this. So with this new firmware update, if we go into the volume tab, you can see that I've created that RAID 5 with the hard drives that are inside and that's about it. But if we go to the create tab, from there, we can select either one of these, but I'm going to go through the advanced tab just to show you all the steps. Then go down to next, select the RAID configuration. And of course, we are using two NVMe SSDs, so we can choose whether to go with a RAID 1, which will allow one of those SSDs um, uh, to be a failure of uh, storage. And that is with all the read and write action happening to both drives side by side parallel at all times, and therefore you've got one disk of fail safe or a RAID 0 that combines that storage into one giant volume, which still has plenty of read-write improvements, but it loses the ability to have a fail-safe drive redundancy or data protection in terms of one drive loss. Now, the choice you make here is really going to be up to you. This NAS... Uh, has got 2.5 GBE slots, two of them, but it doesn't have the ability to add 10 GBE on this system. You want to look at Locker Store 8 and 10 for that. But the result is, if you did select a RAID 0, you're not going to get vastly improved performance, and it's worth bearing that in mind. Now, the NVMe slots that are on this device are PCIe Gen 2 times 2 each, which means each of those M2s are going to give you a 1,000 megs each. Um, on the perfect NVMe SSD drive setup. So me personally, I would still use a RAID 1 because though you may lose the storage benefits, you're not really going to see the performance benefits of an NVMe in this system. You're still going to get a great deal more than a hard drive array, but I would recommend a RAID 1 regardless because you're never really going to get to see that performance. The only benefits of RAID 0 here is the storage. So next, click next and then select the NVMEs. Now, if you haven't installed the latest update, you will not be able to see the NVMe drives for raw storage. It's only in the new update that allows you to see that. After that, click Next. And then you can say if you want to use a spare drive setup. And this is otherwise known as a hot spare. Uh, now, in the case of this, we're not really going to be able to do that on these NVMEs. So we're going to click Next. From here, we select the file system. Now, it's worth bearing in mind that BTRFS, the newer file system of the two, does present lots of benefits in terms of file self-healing, data integrity checks, faster snapshots, and easier, faster folder sharing. But it doesn't have the performance of EXT4, so it's worth bearing in mind that read speeds and write speeds are higher on EXT4. However, remember these NVMe slots, but due to the chipset of the CPU and the PCIe lanes inside, will likely not give you the full NVMe PCIe speeds that the NVMEs inside may give you. So bear that in mind, but for me, I'm going to go with BTRFS. From here, it's just going to let you know that when you proceed with this, all of that storage will be wiped and your new RAID array created. 
From here, click Finish. And now it's going to start building this storage pool. And from that storage pool, we can then build a volume on top of it, allowing us to create a raw storage area of MVME. And as you can see, it is now synchronizing and creating our brand new area of RAID storage where we can write and read onto those drives without SSD caching being the only option for NVMEs. Now, a number of you that have purchased the Locker Store series um, since it first arrived on the scene, I believe the 10 Bay arrived quite a few months ago, chances are, if you have installed NVMEs, you have already installed them inside and are using them as SSD cache. So if you go to the Overview tab and you float over the options, these will say that they are providing SSD cache benefits to the hard drive array. So it's worth bearing in mind that if you want to reverse that decision, you are going to need to effectively remove and wipe that SSD caching. So what I'm going to do now is reset up this NAS with these SSDs as caching SSDs to show you how to disable them as caching and turn them into RAID raw storage for read and write. Let's fast forward. Right, so if you've already got those NVMEs pre-installed in your system as SSD caching, chances are you're entertaining the idea of using them for raw storage. As you see here, I've utilized those two NVMEs this time as caching towards our main RAID volume. Now, it's worth highlighting that you won't have it synchronizing as I've only just set this up for demonstration purposes, but you will have ready on there. And if you go into the list of available drives in the overview, you will see that on here it will say SSD caching or deployment volume one, which is assisting that main hard drive array for caching. In order to remove these drives from cache and to utilize them for raw storage, go into the RAID volume of hard drives and click the management tab. From here, go down to SSD caching and you can see the SSDs are attached to that hard drive array. Head to the top right and select the option, safely remove SSD cache. It will highlight to you that the drives will be wiped and that the main array will not be available during this process. Click OK and now these NVMEs are going to be unmounted for SSD caching towards the hard drive volume and allowing you to attach them as raw storage in their own RAID enabled storage pool and volume. Let's fast forward to the completion of the unmounting. Now the SSDs have been unmounted, we can go ahead and make our way back into the storage manager. The system should have remounted that storage pool and volume, and then from there we can see that hard drive array like before, but this time with no SSD caching. So once again, we can click up on create, go for a quick setup this time if we choose, go for different capacities, we can choose some of their preset options, and then from there, click next, and we can pre-select those SSDs. Click finish, and now it's going to create that nice storage pool and volume available to us immediately for raw storage and to edit on these drives. Now, once again, as good as this is, and I'm super pleased that Acer Store have chosen to embrace NVMEs to be used for raw storage, not just caching, it is worth highlighting that in order to really realize and get the full performance benefit of these SSDs, you will need to have the right kind of connection. This system does have those 2.25 GBE ports, allowing up to link aggregation, uh, 5 GBE or 500 megabytes per second, but bear in mind that these NVMEs are likely going to give more than that, even in due to the PCIe lane limitations of a Celeron, only providing 1000 megabytes per second per drive. If you are using a 10G connection or maybe the Xeon based system in the Locker Store 8 and 10, then chances are you are going to get much, much higher performance and see a huge amount of benefit to NVMEs for SSD caching.